and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube as well for some Folio of Law. That's right, we got this pretty sweet looking donation deck here from a viewer that we're going to be playing. Um, the uh, Probably about a week ago or so, we played a Rule of Law deck for a, a donation deck. And this viewer was like, hey, I have a Rule of Law deck also. I Try this one out. So that's what we're going to be doing here. We got um, you know blue-white control where we are winning with Folio of Fancies milling our opponent out or milling us out also and us having jace wielder of mysteries in play so you know this is full on blue white control that we got going on here so yeah so that's what we're calling this folio of law so rule of law just means each player can only cast one spell each turn and so if we're only playing one spell each turn then maybe we have the extra mana and we can use that extra mana to uh, have us both draw cards now the opponent you know usually if you're like giving your opponent a lot of cards like with the folio of fancies the first ability if if your opponent like has a whole bunch of cards in hand that's probably bad for you because then they get to play all this stuff and that's not very good however if you pair that with rule of law where your opponent can only cast one spell it doesn't really matter if they have four cards in hand or 14 cards in hand how would that look? I don't know. Whatever. It, you know, it doesn't really matter how many cards they have if they can only just play one of them. You know, like they, they're like, all right, well, they just play their one card for the turn. You counter it, you know, like didn't say please or absorb or something. You know, you just counter that spell. And then you're like, okay, well, my turn again. <laughs> and and that's it. So that's kind of like the point of the deck. We'll kind of see how it works. Uh, we have, you know, some bounce spells with unsummons. I think the unsummons are going to work out pretty well for us. I like those. Um Teferi Time Twist is pretty interesting. This is going to be <clears throat> useful if our opponent uh, has removal, especially removal for like our Jace. You know, like you know, like we have Jace in play and they try to use removal on Jace, we can save the Jace because this is exile any target permanent that you control. So that's pretty awesome. Another permanent that you can exile is Dovin's Acuity. So you know we can flicker Dovin's Acuity if we want to. You know, gain two life draw card. So we can have Teferi's Time Twist just be a gain two life draw card <clears throat> kind of card. And uh, let's see, what else spicy that we got in here? We got Smothering Tithe. Now, I'm a little... I'm a little iffy on the Smothering Tithes in this because I'm not sure how well it pairs with Rule of Law. If our opponent can only cast one spell anyway, it feels like it, it seems like like, they can just spend their two mana on their draw step on the Smothering Tithe, and so you don't actually get the the treasure token, because they just don't mind paying it. Now, that being said, if you add in, once you add in Folio Fancies, and you're both drawing, you know, like, three or four cards, they probably just don't have that much mana to be able to uh, pay, so you're going to get some treasure tokens. And then, once you start getting more treasure tokens, then you can activate Folio Fancy for, for even more, and the more you activate it, then the more your opponent can't pay, and then the more treasure tokens you get. So, like, these two go very well together, but if you don't have the Folio Fancies, I'm not sure how those two will go together. But that's what we're going to play the games and kind of find out. Um, our mana base, you know, pretty basic. We got our eight duels, islands, planes. We got one of each castle and a mystic sanctuary if we need that one. And then our sideboard. Um, the person that donated said that, that the sideboard probably needs a lot of work and... Um, yeah, like there's Ashiok's awesome. Teferi's very possibly could maybe be in the main deck, but we're gonna we're gonna have him over in the sideboard. Kind of the same thing with Narset, honestly. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the Chemistry's Insights. I feel like maybe we could get like some more counter spells and removal in the sideboard. I think I think that's kind of what our 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 sideboard probably needs more counter magic and more removal. It needs more interaction. But we'll we will uh, play the games and see. So with this being a donation deck, we're going to go ahead and play through a traditional standard league. See if we can get the five wins before we get two losses. So here we go. Yeah, we could probably use some some aggro hate. To be fair, I mean, we the finale of glory is pretty good against aggro, I guess. You know, like if you pay it for like five mana, you get three two twos. Like that gets you some good blockers, so... We'll be able to have those. And, of course, Teferi slows down aggro also, so we'll be bringing in those. Yeah, Narset and Folio is, a, is an amazing combo. 
So it kind of feels like we should have Narset and Teferi in the main deck, but then it's like, how do we fit them in with the other stuff? Like, maybe instead of Acuities. Because, yeah, <clears throat> we could have, like, so with... You know, with Folio, it's both players draw X cards, but if you have Narset in play, you do it on their turn after they already drew their card for turn, then it's only you drawing cards instead of your opponent. This is the kind of hand that you really don't need to opt on turn one. Like, our, our hand's just, like, perfectly fine. We got cards. We have things to do really don't need to cast opt yet like it's it's best to wait on a card like opt until you know when you're like okay I, I really need a land or you know like you go through your cards and you're like all right I don't need lands anymore like I need to find a sweeper I need to find a counter spell you know kind of whatever you need to find but like you don't have to just cast opt you know casting opt just right away uh, just to make your opening hand look better isn't the best use of the card our, our hand is just fine. Alright, so now I'm not playing... I'm not playing the Brazen Borrower because with Mountain Mountain, they're likely a deck that has, like, shocks. And I don't want them just to be able to shock the Brazen Borrower. Alright, so we got a Gruul aggro deck. Now, I don't have another land drop. There's a land drop. If I play opt, I pick up, I draw two. If I draw two, I'll still have seven. So now saving the opt. <clears throat> we get better value out of it by picking up the acuity. Yeah, of course, Debo 4. Yeah, I'm I'm absolutely in favor of playing competitive donation decks as well. And if you if like if you know if it's a if you have a competitive donation deck that you want me to play in ranked, I will happily do that as well. You know, if you you know you just let me know. Um so, but yeah, I, I've i definitely played competitive donation decks for sure. All right, we'll just keep up. We'll keep open our counterspell mana. They are giving me these treasures, and I like it. All right, with us having double t double sweeper, just let them play some creatures, get a sweeper out of our hand. <laughs> I know, I can't wait till we, yeah, once we flip our treasure map. Yeah, this this may be a gruel starter deck. I'm not sure. Alright, that card's kind of a problem. I don't want them destroying my artifacts and enchantments. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Absorb is talk to the hand. So I'm likely going to just let them... Like, I'm probably not going to bounce on their end step. You know, usually you'd be like, oh, well, let, let's bounce on their turn. I'm probably going to just, like, let them play something and then bounce it on my turn to be able to pick up the pick the acuities back back up. Hey, inversed. Like threat. Getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much there, Santa Cali Commuter. Um well, I'm definitely playing this thing. We can figure a way out of this. Mill them or mill me? I guess it's better to mill me. It's always an answer. If we're like going for like a Jace win, basically. my sub goal move it back move it back all right so they're playing gruel creatures doesn't look like we have anything in our sideboard for gruel creatures Like, maybe the finale of glory instead of the time twist. They don't have, like, they don't really have removal. Alright, we're gonna do that. All right, we got our we got our our namesake cards here. Folio of Law. Our sideboard could probably use another sweeper or two against so against these creature heavy decks. We have a better chance of having sweepers. All right, got a sweeper. Um, just gonna pass. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, acuity got to gain us a lot of life, draw us a lot of cards last game. It worked very well. It's true, it won't, wouldn't work as well with Rule of Law. Alright, I think I'm just going to be doing, like, having the folio be, draw, be a draw two. Clamor Shaman. In fact, I should do the draw two right now. Honestly. And so if my opponent draws like a two mana or less creature, they they will likely play it. And I want them to play more creatures with me playing a sweeper. Uh, the, the whole we don't get to play our sweeper though 
hurts a little bit there. Gotta draw that white source. Okay. So I did not play anything. Hmm. This is a very good card that I'd like to have access to, but and we need white mana. Feel like we're pretty likely to find white mana anyway, though. Yeah, but we can yeah, we can get back and absorb with the sanctuary as well. So I'm you know gonna unsummon the goblin. You know, unsummon the three three. And you only get to play one thing a turn. <laughs> yeah, remember that time we cut planes? <laughs> Can't wait to build Rule of Law Arc Light Phoenix. I mean, I guess I could just bounce the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, sure. I'll just bounce the 4-4. Four, four. It's just gone for good. Ow. Ooh, not yet. gonna look look for white source I know I'm not I'm not gonna I'm just not gonna get any value out of this card and that's okay So while, Kirk, while Clear the Mind does draw us another card, it does put you know a few non-white sources back into the deck also. I'm basically just going to counter anything they play just to gain three life. Really. But it's not like that. This guild mage didn't really do very much. I mean, I guess it makes a 4-4 four, four. haster next turn. mana always had it Ooh, no plays. No plays. So I want to play basically all these. Jace, Smothering Tithe, Dovin's Acuity. I think they would all be good cards to play. 
Um, we only get one. Jace is like my best card to have in play, but I kind of want to play Smothering Tithe just to gain the two life. We'll just play the best card to have in play. So should I try to mill out my opponent or mill me out? I'm always a step ahead. The one thing about trying to mill me out is that maybe I mill over like all of my sweepers, then we need a sweeper or something like that. You say opponent. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. All right, Storm, see you tomorrow. Good night. All right, we're milling opponent. We got two spells. Brazen Borrower is good because it's an instant. So they play their one card. And then we tell them to pick their one card back up. So I guess I guess Smothering Tithe wanna be the best right now. Good night, Ruffiness. Mill over opponent. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I get smothering type in play. Are the, would they like to pay two, or do we get to start making treasures? Darn, they pay two. Ember Cleave. That card's cool. Alright, we'll both draw two. I can't play anything more. So that's it there. <laughs> I got the trifecta. Folio, Smothering Tithe, Dovin's Acuity. Oh, wait, <laughs> Rule of Law. Oh, I just said the wrong card. All right, they played their, their card. It's acceptable to play. Resolves. <laughs> Rule of Law Unsummon is so brutal. The one, two, three. Could just do four. Yeah, we'll just do four. Use all the treasures. <laughs> oh, this is a mean deck. Think this 
They're down to 26 cards in the library there. Um. Uh, I only have, I only have finale for eight right now. I don't really need to play anything. Yeah, I guess. I, yeah, I guess that. I, yeah, that's a good call. I probably I should have played the second folio. I, I kind of looked. I looked past the the folio. I was thinking about going acuity, like acuity, or like just getting borrower or opt and play. But they're like. Yeah, I was really kind of thinking about like acuity. I I missed this folio way over here, in our hand. That card's cool. How does that not have a better animation? How does that not have a, a cool animation? Oh yeah, with the treasures, I guess yeah, we could have done it for ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's both draw six. Never mind, smothering tithe awesome. Well, my opponent has sixteen in hand, do they have nineteen in library? I guess we can Jace ult. Love it when a plan comes together. That's cool. So many cards. We're just like, all right, take your library, put it into your hand. All right, well, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome game now obviously my opponent was playing you know kind of like a, a beginner deck here but it was a good it was a good showcase of like what our deck is trying to do <laughs> yeah try held that many cards in favor just like a brick of cards <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna build this deck in favor now <laughs> nice <laughs> All right, we'll see if we get to do that again. <laughs> Come in to watch this is the first thing you see. Yeah, that was not normal. But yeah, Rule of Law with Folio Fancies. Those two worked really, really well together. Let's try keeping our hand. We're going to need to draw lands. No, Mono Red. Mono red means we are mono dead. The haters of fun. Rule of law could be pretty good against mono red. If we can get it in play like next turn. Yep, this is a donation deck. Yep. This is a viewer submitted deck. Chandra. That card's good. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? I feel like it's possible our deck needs another land. Last game we were kind of struggled with our lands, and then this game also. Hey, these little guys. 
guys are great! Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to really do about this, Chandra. Chandra is the main problem here. Yeah, play the Dove in security, trying to get to land number five. Oh, nice. She got second yesterday? Awesome. Uh, yeah, we could use Deputy at Attention. I think with this deck, probably just, just enchantments. Go get em, buddies. You know, like, like a Prison Realm. It's like for Planeswalkers, probably need like Prison Realm. That is not not a land. So I have to hit blue land now because I need I need to unsummon. But I also need land. So we're in we're in a really rough spot being behind here. I'm I'm going for it. Going for the opt look for island. Uh you coming to play tapped. Uh it's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess we just can't deal with the Chandra at all. That can be a problem. That can be a problem. We're going to get rid of the clear of the mind. Get rid of a time twist. Get rid of a smothering tithe. For this veto. Um... I guess we have we have brazen borrower that can bounce. All right, so brazen. So our, I guess our plan is supposed to be bounce it with brazen borrower and then counter it. That's our plan. I gotta get rid of one card. I don't think we should take out Jace. I like Jace. <clears throat> um I'll take out one of the three mana counters. Yeah, pris prison realm like a like a prison break. 
like jail. Yeah, pris prison realm could be good for the sideboard for planeswalkers. Of course, we're going to try to look for land with opt. Land. Okay, so our deck needs more land. Because this is a deck that we, we can't win if we don't play like our first five lands. We don't win. Okay, that's a land. We'll take it. E. That's pretty good, though. One drop, double one drop. Another haste one drop plus cavalcade. That's pretty good. Um, if I bounce 10th Street Dodger, we take two, four, four six. Uh, I mean, I guess these all these all have haste. I was thinking 10th Street Dodger was the the other one that that doesn't have haste. So yeah, I don't I don't have any way to survive this. Yeah, I bounce cavalcade, that's still lethal. Yeah. Alright, mono red. Mono red wrecked me. Mono red wrecked. I mean, if we bounce Cavalcade, they just replay. Like they even have, they have lethal in play without even playing it, but they'd also just be able to replay it. Ugh. Yep, too fast. Too furious. Keep. I like it. We got three lands. The the lands are a little rough. Like right now, the castle comes into play tapped. So if we like play folio on two, we may not have anything to play on turn three. I guess another folio. I think it's probably the most important to play a three drop though on turn three. So I'm going to just play the castle here. Rule of Law. This could be a Phoenix deck. We'll make this look so if I mill them... It's a matter of like, like, this is probably like Phoenix, Crackling, Drake, stuff like that. So milling them could be bad. You know, makes like their Crackling Drakes much bigger, or I could mill over phoenixes. Oh, Fey of Wishes. Chandra. This
begin! This looks pretty bad for me. Come to me! Right now, I will admit. If I had a Teferi, I could, you know, I could go like Teferi, Tick Up, and and Instant Speed, Wrath, to take out Sarkin. But we don't have Teferi. I expect they're going to just like play the Chandra. Hmm. I was thinking they were going to like attack Jace for four and then play the Chandra and kill the Jace, but I guess they're going to go Emblem. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> One more chance. asking for the songs love your stream love hawkeye and love cake thank you so much luffy con i really appreciate that i'm not sure if i should have drawn two while they were tapped out and so they couldn't pay for smothering tithe right then Kenpachi, welcome back. Thank you so much for that resub. Uh, sub number 13. But yeah, thank, thank you so much there. Yeah, your creatures gain haste. Luffy count for the donation. If you had a, a donation deck you want me to play, just let me know. But if, you know, either way, I really appreciate that. So I guess I'm bouncing... Sarkin. At 28 still. I 
guess maybe it would have been better just been milling over my opponent this whole time. I guess I could. <clears throat> I could just start admitting my mistake and start milling them. Because I, I don't think I'm going to be able to mill myself out in time. Yeah, to, I have three donation decks to, to do tomorrow, first, third, and fourth. So as far as open slots, either tomorrow, second, or any other day besides that. Like those are uh, those are the only three donation decks I have right now. So yeah, D before you can do any any other day, like tomorrow, second, or any other day. Yeah, I guess we should be milling them with. Folio of Fancy's activated ability is just going to be a lot faster. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? And then my plan is, whatever they play, I'm going to absorb. They play their one spell, I'll, I'll absorb it so I can gain life. The gain life was pretty. The gain life land was pretty crucial because if we just stay at three, they they can also just not do anything and just go to their turn. So I, if I would have been milling them over earlier, I would be able to kill them this turn by you know activating folio, playing new folio, activating it. Um, can I still do that? What if I time twist next turn? All right, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I think I have enough. Unless they, like, if they have a counter spell, I lose. I can triple I can triple folio because of time twist. No right? Wait, when does this wait a minute. When does this thing enter? Next end step? Alright, end step is too late. All right, we found another gain life land. That's critical. The gain life land lets us stay ahead of the Chandra. All right, stopping them at second main just in case. I think I think we got this with us having unsummon and everything. I I think it, it'll be very surprising to me if my opponent wins this game. We 
We have 14 cards left in our deck. They have 33. Well, they can only play one thing. Ah, uh, but they get to bounce. They get to bounce rule of law, though. Oh no! Yeah, they get to bounce rule of law. I gotta draw a counter spell for that. Yay. So that's game. Unless they have an instant speed, five damage burn spell. We did it. <laughs> yeah, fi yeah, nice fires of invention. All right, play this thing that gains us some life. Just in case. Play this gain life land, just in case. And I think we got that. All right. GG. Now Arena needs to catch up <laughs> with us both having millions of cards. <laughs> Come on, Arena, you can catch up. You can do it. There it goes. Wow, Rule of Law was really powerful. Just, you get your one spell, that's it. It's really powerful. Unfortunately, like, like we, we need more counter magic here. Like, unfortunately, I think this is going to be really tough to win post-board games with my opponent getting a whole bunch of counter spells and me not really having counter spells. <laughs> rule of Lag. But that's okay. So we're going to have Teferi's, Vito's, Narset. What if we just change up the deck completely? All right, we don't need the Ashioks. I don't know. We could have an Ashiok. Could be a mill deck. No, we're not, we're not going to win that. Race. I want Time Twist, Acuity... Clear the mind. Time wipe giant. Yeah, flat dude, doing good. None summon. Yeah, unsummon was just awesome last game against the Sarkin for sure. I 
I do not want my opponent to play Teferi. I want to draw lands. More land. But Rule of Law looked so powerful that game. Hmm. I tested like that with a counter spell since we have a backup. Didn't say please. So we did put three lands down to the bottom, and I, I don't love that. Yeah, go get uncounterable Chandra again. Keep an open mind. Yeah, they have the one red source right now for Interplanar Bacon, with Interplanar Bacon. So yeah, they need another red land. Looks like they're missing land drops, though. They have to just go to discard. Be a bad idea. All right, what you exiling in? That thing? Nah. Here we go. So my plan here is like th they play big Chandra this turn and they do whatever with Chandra and then I instant speed finale of glory. Nah. We'll just say no. So that's why I know I could cast like Ops during my turn to be able to play two spells, but I want as large a finale as I can have. Ugh. All right, I guess they get that. Who are you to call me mad? So I could have just bounced with Teferi, but then I don't get I will then I don't get instant speed finale. I really want a counter spell called Nope.
Hmm. Judge Fudge with the tier three sub. Y'all get some hype in for Judge Fudge. Into the chat. Thank you so much there, Judge. Diva 4. All right, Sultai mid-range. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll absolutely get that. Played. So yeah, Diva 4, when, when do you want me to uh, play that? Tomorrow or a different, or is there a different day? That you would like. I've got it. Okay, tomorrow. All right, cool. All right, so we'll have four donation decks for tomorrow. Perfect. All right. Yep. So you're you're up second tomorrow. Yeah, maybe I've just been trying too hard for this finale here. Responsibility. Probably should have just bounce the Kenrith. Bounce Don't the work. Kenrith, play Jace. So I can gain five life with Kenrith here. But obviously, playing the finale before they play Chandra was not ideal in the slightest. I'll protect you. Practiced against many things. Meditate and prepare. Mm. I wanted to find a like a I don't know what, a counter spell or something. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a fun day. Gross. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. Mm. Check out these fireworks. Okay. So if I minus if I minus Narset, oh, I've done the hero thing before. They get to easily minus their Chandra to kill Narset. Before action. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
you don't mind. Okay, the going emblem. Hope it's not too hot for you. All right, let's each draw three. Oh wait, I, I drew cards. You didn't. You didn't want to draw cards. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess. I guess you don't have to draw cards then. I, I should have taken the smothering tithe. Because, like, what is the smothering tithe really doing for me? Trust me, I have a plan. Because the answer is nothing. Should have taken the Dovin's Veto. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's gonna be donation decks all day. Two of them I'm building though. So I have a, a donation to build a Mowu deck. So I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna take me a little while, but so tomorrow I got some work to do. I'm going to be building a Mowu deck tomorrow Let's get and a Mesmerizing Benthid deck. <sighs> so they can't cast another spell. So I think we're we're good just to fire off this finale. Ten. Finale for ten. And your opponent can't play anything. Oh wait, I can just click the numbers, right? Yeah. You're getting blocked. Oh, I was gonna block Kenrith with twenty. I was gonna go I was gonna have Kenrith get blocked by twenty creatures. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Two and one. <laughs> yeah, the, the king versus the army. Who wins? The king versus the... The king versus the army. I guess the king didn't stand the chance. <laughs> I mean, if you watched, if you just watched, um, you know, like the two towers, the king took on a whole army of orcs and did just fine. I don't think unsummoning a boreal grazer is the way to go. But we won't do that. Usually I think I would, I would lead with like rule of law, but against our Golos opponent. I don't think they're casting more than one thing a turn anyway. <sighs> yeah, we lost to Mono Red earlier. That was our loss. To Mono Red, it was pretty rough. Alright, well, now they have enough mana to cast multiple things. Try this. Well, that's rude. Hmm. 
Now what do we do? Yeah, we we have two time wipes, two of the giant sweepers. We we have four sweepers. I guess we dig for counter magic. Be able to counter this to fairy. We can bounce it with brazen borrower. Ow. But now they get to instant speed. They get to instant speed their ramp spells like Circuitous Route. So even if we had a sweeper. The QD is gaining us some life, though. You know, keeping us alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't do great against somebody who just plays a bunch of lands. I've got time. Doesn't matter if they can only play one spell a turn if they're just playing lands to make creatures. I could have discarded a rule of law. This might be a bad idea. Do you think a Bant Ramp version of this deck casting big Nissa finales could work? Yeah, honestly. Yeah, that could probably work. Just play your one spell a turn. <clears throat> Something really big. I guess Nissa. <clears throat> Nissa does not work well with sweepers. We're still trying to find those sweepers. We have not found a sweeper. So I guess I just have to bounce Krasis <laughs> just to stay alive. <sighs> it's not great. Obviously, they, they most likely have instant speed ramp here. All right, whatever. So 
So I guess our plan is Ashiok. And then not draw Teferi. This doesn't seem like a very important rule of law matchup at all. Like they're, They really aren't trying to cast more than one spell a turn anyway. But if we get going with Folio, maybe we want rule of law still. Maybe not. Hmm. Hey, good job, Blue Dream. Way to go. Yeah, let's get these Narsets in here so that Krasis doesn't draw a lot of cards. What's our other two cards that we cut? Are they Smothering Tithes? <clears throat> smothering Tithe seems kind of important. They're just Unsummons. Acuity. Yeah, we have the Narset to like draw cards. Let's try this. I do like on someone protecting Narset and Ashiok. I do like it being able to do that. We got a sweeper here, though. On someone works really well in this deck with, like, normally, it works really well in the deck with the, um, with the card that says you can only play one spell a turn with the rule of law. But this matchup, maybe not so much. Giving a Golos deck more cards is not usually a great idea anyway. Yay, we get a treasure. Looks like my opponent was very ready to destroy the Folio of Reclamation deck. Folio fancies. No, I am not <laughs> Sorry, we're not Reclamation. Sorry. The folio of law. 
There you go, the Folio of Law deck. Yeah, we're probably pretty rough against Oko also, because Oko can, you know, can turn the Folio into just a 3-3, which is really rough. They probably have a lot more creatures the next turn. Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> this deck should be called Law Portfolio. Two and two. So we did our deck did pretty well against the slow decks, but then you know, go, mono red and golos. Those matchups feel really bad. All right, so that's our deck here. Uh, a couple of things about it, like the the shell of the deck worked really well. We have a few cards that just don't fit, and we need ways to get rid of Planeswalkers. It was, we saw, like, if our opponent has a, a Teferi, for example, or a Chandra, we have nothing at all in the deck to deal with that, and that's a problem. So what? So a few things. So I think that so we should play um, Prison Realm. I think we should play, like, three Prison Realms. I think Teferi's Time Twist cl and Clear the Bind. Like, those two cards are completely unnecessary. Just get those out of here. <clears throat> and then, I don't know, Acuity... Acuity was was not bad, but probably not as good as just playing Planeswalkers. So I think, I think basically, I think Prison Realm... I think Prison Realm replaces Brazen Borrower. Like, I think, I think Prison Realm is just going to be better than Brazen Borrower there. So you, you can replace that. And then instead of acuities, if we had Narset and Teferi in the main deck, whoops, why is this being like this? You go hang out with the lands. I know this means that we have basically all threes, but... All right, so we have those in the main. I also think that we should have one Finale of Glory in the main deck just to be able to have. And I think that over a Smothering Tithe. Yeah, probably that over a Smothering Tithe. <clears throat> and then sideboard, we need a lot more counter magic and removal. We don't need the Chemisters. So we get the fourth Prison Realm, like three Dovin's Vetoes. Um, yeah, that just doesn't really, that doesn't really ever happen. Time wipe with Borrower. Yeah, we go Deputy of Detention in the sideboard for aggro. Is that the best thing there, or is is it better to play something like Warrant Warden against Aggro? I guess like just putting like a one drop back on top of their library isn't spectacular. Yeah, it's probably a deputy. The Brazen Borrower attacking the Sarkin was nice though that one time, but I think if we just had Prison Realms, that that would have worked just fine too. Um, still have a couple more sideboard slots. A couple of disdainful strokes. Deputy works really well against a bunch of zombies too.
Or no, probably the cheaper blue counter spell. Um, be able to, because you know we, we gotta try to counter like Oko and Teferi and stuff early. But we do have the prison realms. Yeah, I guess mystical dispute. It's pretty bad. Like in the, the like the later the game goes with like rule of law. Okay, uh, next the didn't say please. You know you do get to mill over three cards, but milling over three cards is honestly not very valuable. It's not as valuable as surveil one. And it's not as valuable as as gain three life, so I think I, I wouldn't play the didn't say please, and I would I would play you know some combination of sabotage and absor and absorb like maybe just four absorb honestly, maybe just four absorb. Surveil one's pretty nice though. Surveil one is pretty nice. Um, so some combination there. Because like against, especially like how we, we took out the life gain. Maybe just go four absorb. So we did take out life gain. <clears throat> so maybe that. So, you know, maybe four absorb, maybe, maybe some sabotage. If you don't have like the rares for absorb, you can go with sabotage. But, sab you know, play sabotage over didn't say please. Um, I guess this isn't, all right, so this mystic card isn't any good. We'll get rid of that card. Play, just play another island. I do kind of want a 26 land in here though, too. I do kind of want a 26 land. But maybe, I mean, we have, the Prison Realms get to scry, so that's nice. They, that will help hit land drops. Teferi draws cards for to help hit land drops. But I guess, you know, I'm taking out the Acuities. The Acuities did a good job of drawing cards and helping us hit lands. I don't know. The, the Acuities were good, honestly. But these, these Planeswalkers are just so powerful. It's kind of hard not to play them. They're so powerful. Am I being too cute thinking, thinking of running Wanderer in this type of deck? Yeah, you, you don't need Wanderer in, a type, in this type of deck. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we don't need the four unsummons with the Prison Realm, but the unsummons were honestly really nice, but maybe with having... Teferi is an unsummon now, too. So maybe... I bet that's... Yeah, I guess we could... That could be a place to, to trim because Teferi's in on summon now. And that could get us our extra land. Could be a Fable Passage. Maybe we want like two Fable Passages. Get rid of this other island. Get a couple Fable Passages in here. So we can grab blue or white, whatever we need. The J I like the Jace is just like a, a card draw every turn. I liked that. Unsummon was really clutch for us, though, but maybe with having Teferis, you don't need as many unsummons. Hmm. We don't have nearly as many... We don't, we don't have as many instants now. You do want to be able to play a spell on their turn also, but I guess... You have the Folio Fancies, and Teferi can turn Sorceries into Instants, even though we don't have that many Sorceries. But Teferi can turn them into Instants, and we can activate Folio on their turn with our mana left over. Okay, so there we go. So maybe, so yeah, QQ, try this out. Let me know how this goes. Update it here. This looks pretty good. But yeah, we got to see some, some really cool stuff there with Folio. Rule of Law and Smothering Tithe combined, the that trinity there. I don't 
Um, I don't think... I don't think we want mobilized district because I think that the colorless land will just hurt too much with with all these uh, different color requirements with these cards, you know, with like Absorb and Jace and, and everything. I, I just don't think we really want to afford having a colorless land. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hit the like, subscribe buttons over there. Let me know what you think about the deck in the comment section. Hopefully you try out the updated version here. Let me know what you think of Folio, Fancies, Rule of Law, and Smothering Tithe, that combination. Also, if you like my videos and the stream and everything, please check out the Patreon page. Uh, put it up right there. Just started this a few days ago, but it's uh, $3 a month to be a patron, and I'm putting up written content and sideboard guides over there. So even if you just like the videos, even if you don't really mind that stuff too much, hopefully uh, you um, join our Patreon community. It's, like I said, just three bucks a month. It's cheaper than even subbing here on Twitch. Uh, I just wrote a, wrote a piece today about why it was a mistake in my eyes uh, for Wizards to move the BNR announcement from last month up to this Monday and talked about that. So check that out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. The link is in the description also if you're watching on YouTube. But that's it here for Folio Vlog. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.